hey you guys thank you so much for pressing play so today I am running errands I have to run to the UPS store um, return something that I got on Amazon okay I'm grateful for those returns <laughs> oh I can show you guys I still have to seal the bag but I actually bought this I actually bought this fermentation kit right because I've been wanting to make sauerkraut but it doesn't fit on the jars that I have at home so I'm grateful that I'm able to return it so I'm gonna do that at the UPS store and then I'm at Target I'm actually at Target now I parked a little further away so that no one is like what is this a weird lady doing so yeah I'm at Target um, I have to I actually already went food shopping I usually go food shopping at like Trader Joe's I go to like five different stores <laughs> but that was last week this week i am just running errands um you know when you end up running out of like laundry detergent or hair products um that's where i am today i have to pick up lotion i have to pick up laundry detergent um dryer sheets and what else hair products there's a 20 percent off on hair products at target ladies so yeah, so I hope to have this video um, uploaded like ASAP because I've been recording videos in this past month and I have not edited or uploaded anything because a quick update, I've been doing photography. I know I've, I've, I've said that that was a desire of mine where I was just like, man, maybe I should pursue photography in this season. And yes, the Lord has been opening so many doors with photography, family photography, newborn photography. I've been learning so much. A lot of people have been reaching out and that's been keeping me really busy. Um, that along with taking care of the home, right? Because I always want the home to be my first priority. The home, my husband, you know, to be my first priority. And so I've been trying to balance all of that. And so that leads into this video. The reason why I want to upload this ASAP is because this has been heavy on my heart all day. And so as I was preparing to leave the house to run errands, I said, you know what? Let me make a video to encourage stay at home moms and stay at home wives, you guys. You are useful, right? You are a blessing. Don't ever think that you have to be out of the home to be useful. And so I just see how our culture is with the whole feminism, that whole feminist movement, everything that you see online is like, listen, you guys, you are useful at home. You are such a blessing at home. You know, um, I just see the fruit in even the children's lives when their moms are able to be home with them and I know so many moms that have to work long hours and they really wish they could be home with their children you guys so please one thing that's been on my heart these past couple months has been like Lord help me to be content and grateful right for where you have me and a big thing has been help me to rejoice in every season that I'm in there is always a reason to rejoice you guys let's not lose sight on that there's so much for us to be grateful for right and so that's why I wanted to record this video in hopes that it would encourage someone and to remind you that you are useful you are a blessing right um, if you're home with your kids or even if you're not home and that's the area where I have the biggest burden because I don't have children I'm a stay-at-home wife and you know we thought we would have children by now and that has not been God's plan for us yet and so sometimes in the past and I have videos on that you can look back to where I've shared where I didn't feel useful because I don't have kids at home and that is not true that is a lie from the enemy you guys you are useful at home you set the atmosphere of your home and so this morning when I was cooking breakfast for my husband because he works from home when I was cooking breakfast for him I was just like wow Lord I thank you and I praise you that I'm able to do this I thank you that that I'm able to run and and do these errands without having to work long long hours and so there's so much to be grateful for you guys and the reason why I wanted to record this is like it's so easy to lack contentment right 
even if you have a good job sometimes it's like okay I want a better job and all this and I'm not saying that we can't grow and desire um, to work and like I said I'm doing photography right it's that's not the point the point is let's not lose sight on how much of a blessing it is to take care of the home you create the atmosphere in your home right and so there are so many scriptures that encourage women to be homemakers and that is a blessing you guys I've been able to appreciate it and so that's why I wanted to record this there's so much to be grateful for and my desire has been Lord help me to rejoice in this season and to live in the moment right we sometimes desire things so bad that we lose sight on today and I've said that in many of my videos and that is something very heavy on my heart um, and so lately I've just been like you can ask my husband I'll just be like every day I have to hug him a long long hug like I'm just like hugging him so tight like I just love him and I'm just so grateful for him and we lose sight we want other things maybe it's children maybe it's a new job whatever it is that we lose sight on the blessings that we have right now right ladies I just pray that something I've said has blessed you us I just want to end with this note as Christian women what is shaping our minds is it this culture even is it famous people or you know that we follow on Instagram or whatever it is um, or is it God's Word and people who desire to lead you back to God's Word and you know is that what's shaping you because I promise you that what you're listening to what you're reading it affects you so please ladies look around and see if you're feeling discouraged ask yourself why am I feeling discouraged is it what I'm watching is it what I'm listening to um, there's a really great course by and I think she has videos her name is Melissa Kruger and she has a course called contentment um, I'll put everything underneath this video and so yeah I pray that something I said today blesses someone. Bye.